Welcome back. Our big story today, Deutsche Börse agrees to buy the New York Stock Exchange. William Donaldson is a former SEC chairman and a former chairman and CEO of the NYSE. He's now chairman, CEO, and founder of Donaldson Enterprises, and he joins me now on set. Mr. Donaldson, welcome to Bottom Line. Thanks for coming on. Nice to be here. You ever think this day was going to happen? Uh, no, I guess I didn't, uh, but I thought it was inevitable that we were going to have big changes in, in uh, the way exchanges operate. Uh, interesting, because last week two people familiar with the matter did tell Bloomberg that Perella Weinberg was assisting the NYSE Euronext in crafting this deal. You're an advisor to Perella. What was Perella's role in this? Well, Perella was, uh, it is a financial advisor to uh, the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, in, in terms of how they crafted this deal, maybe with their European competitors, was that something that both sides had to be on the same page with? Very definitely, and, and uh, Prello was the uh, investment banking coordinator of that. Uh, other U.S.-German mergers haven't fared so well, as you well know. There is Daimler-Chrysler. Why is this one going to be different? Well, I think essentially it, it makes uh, such good sense to put these two entities together uh, in terms of the trends in, in global stock trading. Is it a marriage of equals, as a lot of people have been saying today? Well, it is a marriage of, uh, number one is the uh, chief executive officer of the new entity. It will be the current chief executive of the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, number two is... Uh, there will be, uh, as I read the numbers, 55% uh, of the new entity will be held by American shareholders. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it, it really is in terms of executive direction and in terms of shareholdings and so forth, it's a real merger. And, and that 55% that something that's going to ease shareholder concerns? Because whenever you talk about international mergers, there's sovereignty issues, let alone political issues involved in this. Yeah, well, I, th I think there are several aspects to this. One is, is that it, it makes sense from a business point of view, the trends in stock trading, to have uh, the entity anchored in, in Germany and in the United States. In terms of uh, how it works, uh, that I think depends upon uh, the, the, uh, the chief executive of the organization and, and the way it's organized. And I think you have an excellent person in, in that role. I wanted to ask you something about semantics, because I've heard this a lot during coverage today here and in other places. Is this really a merger in the traditional sense, or is it an acquisition? We see Deutsche Börse owns a majority of the company, because its market cap is larger. Is this a, a language thing, or is it really a merger? No, it really is a merger. I mean, it, 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 the merger uh, will be determined by who's running the show, uh, number one. The, the percentage ownership that comes from the merger has to do with, with uh, the relative earning power of the two entities. But once they're put together, uh, it's a merger. About 37% of the revenue at this joint company is going to come from derivatives trading and clearing. Was that key to the deal, do you think? That's an important aspect of it. It, it gives the new company a, a footprint in, in a, uh, some of the fastest growing uh, market trading opportunities, derivatives, and options, and so forth, in addition to common stock. You mentioned options. About 40% of U.S. options trading now going to occur under one roof. A lot of people say that's a cause for concern. Is, is it? Well, I, again, I think it's, uh, it, it will be a market competition for that. I mean, who has the best markets will, will determine who gets the, the, the volume. How you. is this deal going to make U.S. capital markets more competitive? Well, basically, uh, it, it is, uh, uh, creates a reach, if you will, in, into uh, pools of capital in the United States and pools of capital in Europe and particularly in Germany. And again, I think the trend in the, in the marketplace is for uh, exchanges to be settled into where uh, the money is, where the investors are. Right. And, and that's certainly true of Germany and the United States. Uh, the Justice Department, your former agency, the SEC, they're going to have to look into this and sign off on this. Any antitrust concerns that you can think of? Well, there are a whole bevy of, of regulatory agencies that have to approve of this. And, and uh, I, I think that uh, Clearly, the regulatory side, uh, the exchanges will have to continue to be um, uh, regulated in Germany by the German authorities here by the SEC. Uh, in terms of the other things, antitrust and so forth, uh, it's a competitive world out there. Although this will be a big entity, there's lots of other entities competing. Uh, we went to break talking about um, possible antitrust concerns. Uh, NYSE Deutsche, uh, Deutsche Börse, is it possible they may have to unload U.S. assets for the deal to get regulatory approval? 
Uh, I really don't know. I, I doubt it uh, in terms of the competitive uh, condition of, of the uh, industry, if you will, outside of this entity. There's lots of competition. The interesting angle, because Tony Fratto, he worked in the administration of uh, President George W. Bush. He said perhaps there might be national security concerns, and I thought that was interesting. He said the Treasury Department's Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. might consider that deal. That committee, by the way, meets in secret on potential security threats on mergers. Is that something that's even on the, the radar screen? Well, I, I, I would imagine that everybody that has any sort of jurisdiction will be taking a look at this transaction. And uh, as far as uh, what they would be thinking of in terms of national security, I don't quite understand, uh, frankly. Uh, I think this is a uh, strictly a, a, a trading venue. Uh, if they're thinking about security from the point of view of regulation, uh, I think that both arms of the entity will be regulated by their home country, if you will, and I think this will actually cause, hopefully, the regulation to become uh, not diminished, but, but increased in, in the interest of the shareholders. Have sovereign and political issues been addressed adequately? Because we see New York Senator Chuck Schumer insisting that the NYSC is first as opposed to DB NYSC. Is, is, are we going to get involved into that? I, I, I hope not. This is, this is a fast-moving world. I think it's a step forward for both the Bush Bourse and the New York Stock Exchange in terms of the trends in, in uh, where the investors are, where the money is, uh, where the companies are. Uh, it's a global entity now, and this is, a, I think, a natural and, and very positive step. Does the term too big to fail apply here? Because this is a massive undertaking. Well, uh, clearly, if, if uh, there were technical uh, problems and, and or interruptions in trading, uh, you know, that, that happens before and it'll happen again. I don't think that uh, you're going to see uh, anything close to, to a, a national security issue associated with reporting and trading of stocks and derivatives. And if we might put that graphic back up, because Mr. Donaldson, I was just looking, the one that was just on, it seemed that the market reaction, NYSE, you know, Euronext, Deutsche Börse, NASDAQ, OMX Group, market reaction was muted today. Any other idea why? Well, I think there, as always, when, when rumors, when uh, transactions are rumored, uh, they, they generally stocks go up, and then upon the announcement, those uh, people sell who are selling on, on the, before the announcement, or buying before the announcement. So I don't think it's unusual for it to back off a little bit. Any concerns at all that this deal won't get finalized? Well, uh, clearly it, it, it is going to be subject to uh, close scrutiny. Uh, my own judgment is that that scrutiny will come up with uh, the decision that it should be allowed to go through. What should people take away from this deal, shareholders, that right now the understanding is that markets have to go more global to be more competitive? I, I think that's absolutely correct. I think this is a fast-moving world. I think there are whole areas in a world where new investors are, are coming online, if you will, and, and they want to be able to buy stocks uh, and be able to share in that. And, and I think it's, it's a wave of the future, if you will, global trading. So they shouldn't be afraid of this expansion? I don't think so. I mean, I, this won't be the end. Maybe someday we'll be trading in the cloud technology and there'll <laughs> be no physical location. Who knows? Uh, talk to me about what this says about America's financial ambitions in the world as we see it now. Well, as I say, I think it's a positive step. I think the New York Stock Exchange and, and the Deutsche Börse have, have, have seen that, that the, the trend in global trading, uh, it makes sense to, to put two great centers together. Uh, I don't think it diminishes anything. I think it enhances uh, the stock exchange's position in terms of global trading. And it's, uh, you know, the, the physical facilities won't change, as I understand it. I mean, the New York Stock Exchange will still be there in yeah. its old location, as will the Deutsche Börse in, in Germany. Mr. Donaldson, in our last 30 seconds, question about the SEC. Barney Frank, the Democrat of Massachusetts today, saying that he wants to increase the SEC's budget. Uh, House Republicans say they want to reduce it. Your thoughts on that? 
I, I applaud Barney Frank's decision to try and do that. Clearly, there are a whole series of new obligations on the SEC, not the least of which is the implementation of, of Dodd-Frank, the rulemaking, and, and they simply have to have the resources to, to do that and have the resources to uh, deliver, if you will, on the new obligations they have. So I, I think it's uh, right in the right direction to increase their resources. All right, Bill Donaldson, Chairman, CEO, founder of Donaldson Enterprises, joining us on set. Mr. Donaldson, pleasure. Nice Thank you so you. much. Nice.